C I E T N C E R T presents audio book of social science for class six, titled Social and Political Life, Unit One, titled Diversity. This unit has two chapters. Chapter One, Understanding Diversity, and Chapter Two, Diversity. and discrimination this is chapter 1 titled understanding diversity from page 3 to page 12 let's listen to chapter number 1 titled understanding diversity on page 1 it is written unit 1 diversity on page 2 the national anthem of india is written along with its translation in english national anthem of india jan gan man adhinayak jay he bharat bhagya vidhata thou art the ruler of the minds of all people dispenser of india's destiny पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा दाय नेम राउज द हार्ट्स ऑफ द पंजाब सिंध गुजरात एंड मराठा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जलधि तरंगा ऑफ द द्रविडा एंड ओडिशा एंड बंगाल it echoes in the hills of the vindhyas and himalayas tav shubh naame jaage tav shubh aasis mange gaahe tav jaya gaatha mingles in the music of yamuna and ganga and is chanted by the waves of the indian sea jan gan mangal dayak jaya he bharat भाग्य विधाता दे प्रे फॉर दाय ब्लेसिंग्स एंड सिंग दाय प्रेज द सेविंग ऑफ ऑल पीपल वेट्स इन दाय हैंड जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे दाउ डिस्पेंसर ऑफ इंडियाज डेस्टनी विक्ट्री विक्ट्री victory to thee there is a note given under the national anthem it says jan gan man was translated by gurudev rabindranath tagore from bengali to english in february 1919 at madna palli in the district of chitur source www dot bt college dot org page 3 chapter 1 understanding diversity look around you in the classroom do you see anyone who looks exactly like you do in this chapter you will learn that people are different from each other in many ways not only do they look different but they might also belong to different regional cultural or religious backgrounds these differences enrich our lives in many ways and also make them more fun all these different people who come from all kinds of backgrounds and belong to all kinds of religions and cultures help to make india so interesting and so diverse what does diversity add to our lives how did india become like this are all kinds of difference a part of diversity can diversity also be a part of unity listen to this chapter to find some answers there are three pictures given here all the three pictures show three different children these children are different from each other in many ways 
three children around your age have drawn the figures given here. Use the empty box to draw your human figure. Is your drawing similar to any of the others? The chances are that your drawing is quite different from the other three, which you can see are quite different from each other. This is because each one of us has a unique drawing style. We not only don't look exactly like each other, but also differ in terms of the language we speak, our cultural backgrounds, the religious rituals we observe, and of course, the way we draw. Page 4 There is a blue box given here, which says, Fill out the information asked here about yourself. When I go out, I like wearing. At home, I speak in. My favourite sport is. I like reading books about. There are blank spaces given below each of these questions to write your answer. Now, ask your teacher to help you check how many of you have similar answers. Is there anyone whose list matches yours exactly? Probably not. But many of you may have similar answers. How many like reading the same kind of books? How many different languages are spoken by the students in your class? By now, you must have recognized the many ways in which you are quite like some of your classmates and other ways in which you are different from them. Making friends Do you think it would be easy for you to make friends with someone who was very different from you? Listen to this story and think about this. I had meant it as a joke. A joke made up for a small ragged boy who sold newspapers at the Janpath crossing at the busy intersection. Every time I cycled past, he would run after me, holding out the English paper and screaming out the evening's headlines in a mixture of Hindi and English words. This time, I stopped by the pavement and asked for the Hindi paper. His mouth fell open. You mean you know Hindi? He asked. Of course, I said as I paid for the paper. Why? What did you think? He paused. But you look so, so angry's, he said. You mean you can even read Hindi? Of course I can, I said. This time a little impatiently. I can speak, read and write Hindi. Hindi is one of the subjects I study in school. Subjects? He asked. How could I explain what a subject was to someone who had never been to school? Well, it is something. I began, but the lights changed and the honking behind me grew a hundredfold, and I let myself be pushed along with the rest of the traffic. There is a picture made on page number four. On this picture, there is a traffic signal shown with auto rickshaw, car and a cycle. The cycle is being driven by an elder boy. A younger boy is selling newspapers to him. Page 5 The next day he was there again, smiling at me and holding out a Hindi paper. Bhaiya, he said, Aap ka akbar. Ab bataye, ye subject kya cheez hai? The English word sounded strange on his tongue. It sounded like its other meaning in English to be ruled by someone else. Oh, it's just something to study, I said. And then, because the red light had come on, I asked him, 
Have you ever been to school? Never. He answered and he added proudly. I began working when I was so high. He measured himself against my cycle seat. First my mother used to come with me, but I can do it all alone. Where is your mother now? I asked. But then the lights changed and I was off. I heard him yell from somewhere behind me. She's in Meerat with... The rest was drowned out. My name is Samir, he said the next day. And very shyly he asked, What's yours? It was incredible. My bicycle wobbled. My name is Samir too, I said. What? His eyes lit up. Yes, I grinned at him. It's another name for Hanuman's father, you know. So now you are Samir Ek and I am Samir Do, he said triumphantly. Something like that, I answered and then I held out my hand. Haath milao, Samir Do. His hand nestled in mine like a little bird. I could still feel its warmth as I cycled away. The next day, he did not have his usual smile for me. There is trouble in Meerat, he said. Many people are being killed there in the riots. I looked at the headlines. Communal riots, it blazed. But, Samir, I began. I am a Muslim, Samir, he said in answer. And all my people are in Meerat. His eyes filled with tears and when I touched his shoulder, he would not look up. He was not at the crossing the day after, neither the day after, nor ever again. And no newspaper in English or Hindi can tell me where my Samir Do has gone. This was a story. The Lights Changed by Poil Sen Gupta A blue box is given here which says Name three ways in which Samir Ek and Samir Do were different. Did these differences prevent them from becoming friends? While Samir Ek is more familiar with English, Samir Do speaks Hindi. Although... They both are more at home in different languages. They still communicated with each other. They made the effort to do so because this was what was important to them. Samir Ek and Samir Do also come from different religious and cultural backgrounds. While Samir Ek is a Hindu, Samir Do is a Muslim. Different religious and cultural backgrounds such as these are an aspect of diversity. Page number 6 A blue box is given here which says Make a list of the festivals that might have been celebrated by the two boys. Samir Ek, Samir Do. Can you think of a situation in which you made friends with someone who was very different from you? Write a story that describes this. In addition to their diverse religious and cultural backgrounds, there are other ways in which Samir Ek and Samir Do are different from each other. For example, while Samir Ek goes to school, Samir Do sells newspapers. Discuss Why do you think Samir Do did not attend school? Do you think it would have been easy for him to attend school if he wanted to? In your opinion, is it a fair situation that some children get to go to school and others don't? Samir, though, did not have the opportunity to attend school. Perhaps you've noticed 
that there are several people in the area where you live who are poor and who don't have enough to eat or wear and sometimes not even a place to live this difference is not the same as the one we have seen earlier here we are talking not of difference but of inequality inequality comes about when a person does not have the resources and opportunities that are available to other persons the caste system is another example of inequality according to this society was divided into different groups depending upon the work that people did and they were supposed to remain in those groups so if your parents were potters you could only become a potter nothing else this system was considered irreversible and because you were not supposed to change your profession it was not considered necessary for you to know anything more than what you needed in your profession this created a situation of inequality you will read more about this and other inequalities in the following chapters what does diversity add to our lives just like samir ek and samir do became friends you might have friends who are very different from you you have probably eaten different kinds of food in their homes celebrated different festivals with them tried out the clothes they wear and learnt some of their languages as well a blue box is given here which says make a list of the food that you have eaten from different parts of india make a list of the languages besides your mother tongue that you can speak at least one or two words of page number 7 there is a drawing made on this page on this drawing there is a magic carpet on which a monkey an old lady and a boy are traveling you probably like reading and hearing stories and adventures about different animals people and even ghosts perhaps you even enjoy making up stories yourself many young people feel happy when they read a good story because it gives them lots of ideas to make up more stories people who write stories get their ideas from all sorts of different places from books and real life and from their imagination some may have lived in forests close to animals and chosen to write of their fights and friendships others read real accounts of kings and queens and wrote stories about love and honor some dipped into their own childhood memories of school and friends and wrote stories of adventure imagine if all the storytellers and writers that you have heard and read so far were forced to live in a place where all people wore the same two colors red and white ate the same food maybe potatoes took care of the same two animals for example the deer and the cat and to entertain themselves played snakes and ladders what kind of stories do you think they would write a blue box is given here which says imagine that you are a writer or an artist who lives in the place described above either write a story or draw a picture of your life here do you think you would enjoy living in a place like this list five different things that you would miss the most if you lived here diversity in india india is a country of many diversities we speak different languages have various types of food celebrate different festivals practice different religions but actually if you think about it we do many things that are similar except that we do them in different ways how do we explain diversity 
a little more than 200 years ago or long before the train, aeroplane, bus or car became a part of our lives. People travelled from one part of the world to another, in ships, on horses, on camels or on foot. Page number 8 There is a table given on this page. List at least three different ways in which people in India do the following. One of the possible answers has been provided for you already. There are four columns given here. In the first column, there are different options for various things given. Different ways in which people pray. Different ways in which people get married. Different ways in which people dress. Different ways in which people greet each other. Different ways in which people cook rice. You have to write the different ways in which people do these activities. One of the possible answers has been provided for you already. There are three pink columns given here in which one of the ways in which these different activities can be done is already given here as an example. For example, different ways in which people pray. One of the examples given is through singing a hymn. Different ways in which people get married. The example given is through signing a register in the court. Different ways in which people dress. An example given is in Manipur, women wear a fanic. Option. In Manipur, women wear a phoenix. Different ways in which people greet each other. The example given here is, In Jharkhand, many Adivasis say Johar to greet each other. Different ways in which people cook rice. The example given is, By making biryani with meat or vegetables. Often, they went in search of new lands or new places to settle in or for people to trade with. And because it took so long to travel, once they got to a place, people stayed there, often for a long time. Many others left their homes because there were famines and drought. Option. Many others left their homes because there were famines and drought and they could not get enough to eat. Some went in search of work, while others left because there was a war. Sometimes, as they began to make their homes in new places, people began to change a little, and at other times, they managed to do things in the old ways. So their languages, food, music, religions became a mix of the old and the new. And out of this intermixing of cultures came something new and different. The history of many places shows us how many different cultural influences have helped to shape life and culture there. Thus, regions became very diverse because of their unique histories. Similarly, diversity also comes about when people adapt their lives to the geographical area in which they live. For example, living near the sea is quite different from living in a mountainous area. Page number 9 Not only do people have different clothing and eating habits, but even the kinds of work they do are different. In cities, it is often easy to forget how closely people's lives are tied to their physical surroundings. This is because in the city, people seldom grow their own vegetables and grain. Instead, they depend on the market to buy all the food and other goods that they need. Let us try to understand what we mean when we say that historical and geographical factors influence the diversity of a region. We can do this by reading about life in two different parts of the country. 
Kerala and Ladakh. Look at the map of India in an atlas and locate Kerala and Ladakh. Can you list three ways in which the different geographical location of these two regions would influence these habits? 1. The food people eat. 2. The clothes they wear. 3. The work they do. There is a picture given here which shows the dry barren landscape of the mountainous desert of Ladakh. Ladakh is a desert in the mountains in the east of Jammu and Kashmir. Very little agriculture is possible here since this region does not receive any rain and is covered in snow for a large part of the year. There are very few trees that can grow in the region. For drinking water, people depend on the melting snow during the summer months. People here keep sheep and goats. The goats in this region are special because they produce pashmina wool. This wool is prized and pashmina shawls cost a lot of money. The people in Ladakh carefully collect the wool of the goats and sell this to traders from Kashmir. Pashmina shawls are chiefly woven in Kashmir. The people eat meat and milk products like cheese and butter. Each family owns some goats, cows and dzoos, yak cows. Being a desert did not mean that Ladakh did not attract its share of traders. It was considered a good trade route as it had many passes through which caravans travelled to what is today called Tibet. These caravans carried textiles and spices, raw silk and carpets. Page number 10 Buddhism reached Tibet via Ladakh. Ladakh is also called Little Tibet. Islam was introduced in this region more than 400 years ago and there is a significant Muslim population here. Ladakh has a very rich oral tradition of songs and poems. Local versions of the Tibetan national epic, the Kesar Saga, are performed and sung by both Muslims and Buddhists. Kerala is a state in the southwest corner of India. It is surrounded by the sea on one side and hills on the other. A number of spices like pepper, cloves and cardamoms are grown on the hills. It is spices that made this region an attractive place for traders. Jewish and Arab traders were the first to come here. The Apostle of Christ Saint Thomas is believed to have come here nearly 2,000 years ago and he is credited with bringing Christianity to India. Many Arab traders also came and settled down here. Ibn Battuta, who travelled here a little less than 700 years ago, wrote a travelogue in which he describes the lives of Muslims and says, that they were a highly respected community. The Portuguese discovered the sea route to India from Europe when Vasco da Gama landed with his ship here. Because of all these various historical influences, people in Kerala practiced different religions such as Judaism, Islam, Christianity, Hinduism and Buddhism. The fishing nets used here look exactly like the Chinese fishing nets and are called chinawala. Even the utensil used for frying is called the china chatti and it is believed that the word chin could have come from China. The fertile land and climate are suited to growing rice and a majority of people here eat rice fish and vegetables. There are three pictures given on this page. 
The first picture shows Chinese fishing nets. In the second picture, there are two women weaving a pashmina shawl. In the third picture, there is a race boat of Kerala shown. The boat race is an important part of the Onam festival celebrated in Kerala. Page number 11 While Kerala and Ladakh are quite different in terms of their geographical features, the history of both regions has seen similar cultural influences. Both regions were influenced by Chinese and Arab traders. It was the geography of Kerala which allowed for the cultivation of spices and the special geographical location of Ladakh and its wool that drew traders to these regions. Thus, history and geography are often tied in the cultural life of a region. The influence of diverse cultures is not merely a thing of the past. Our present lives are all about moving from place to place for work and with each move, our cultural traditions and way of life slowly become part of the new place we are in. Similarly, in our own neighbourhoods, we live close to people from several communities. Our daily lives are about the ways in which we do things together and hear stories about each other's lives, customs and traditions. Unity in Diversity India's diversity has always been recognised as a source of its strength. When the British ruled India, women and men from different cultural, religious and regional backgrounds came together to oppose them. India's freedom movement had thousands of people of different backgrounds in it. They worked together to decide joint actions. They went to jail together and they found different ways to oppose the British. Interestingly, the British thought they could divide Indians because they were so different and then continue to rule them. But the people showed how they could be different and yet be united in their battle against the British. A poem is given here. Let's listen to this poem by the Indian People's Theatre Association or IPTA. Don't forget the days of blood, O oh friend. In the midst of your happiness, remember to shed a tear for us. The hunter has torn away every single flower. Do plant a flower in the desert garden, dear friend. Having fallen to bullets, we slept in Jallianwala Bagh. Do light a lamp on this lonely grave, O oh friend. The blood of Hindus and Muslims flows together today. Do soak your robe in this river of blood, dear friend. Some rot in jails while others lie in their graves. Do shed a few tears for them, O oh friend. This poem is written by the Indian People's Theatre Association, IPTA. This song was sung after the Jallianwala Bagh massacre in Amritsar, in which a British general opened fire on a large group of unarmed, peaceful people, killing many and wounding even more. Men and women, Hindus, Sikhs and Muslims, rich and poor, had gathered to protest against the British. This song was composed and sung to honour the memory of those brave people. Page number 12 On this page, a picture is given, showing Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru delivering an Independence Day speech. Songs and symbols that emerged during the freedom struggle 
serve as a constant reminder of our country's rich tradition of respect for diversity. Do you know the story of the Indian flag? It was used as a symbol of protest against the British by people everywhere. In his book, The Discovery of India, Jawaharlal Nehru says that Indian unity is not something imposed from the outside, but rather it was something deeper within its fold the widest tolerance of belief and custom was practiced and every variety acknowledged and even encouraged. It was Nehru who coined the phrase unity in diversity to describe the country. A blue box is given here which says India's national anthem composed by Rabindranath Tagore is another expression of the unity of India. In what way does the national anthem describe this unity? Questions 1. Draw up a list of the different festivals celebrated in your locality. Which of these celebrations are shared by members of different regional and religious communities? 2. What do you think living in India with its rich heritage of diversity adds to your life. 3. Do you think the term unity in diversity is an appropriate term to describe India? What do you think Nehru is trying to say about Indian unity in the sentence quoted in page 12 from his book The Discovery of India? 4. Underline the line in the poem sung after the Jallianwala Bagh massacre which, according to you, reflects India's essential unity. 5. Choose another region in India and do a similar study of the historical and geographical factors that influence the diversity found there. Are these historical and geographical factors connected to each other? How? The chapter 1, titled Understanding Diversity, ends here. Narrator, Vaibhav Srivastav. Producer, Vandana Arimardan. Presented to you by CIET, NCERT, New Delhi, India.